Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make, um, I'll be showing you how to make these little buckets with, um, snowballs in them. So basically, they're just like, in real life, if it was snowing and you were to have a snowball fight, you would take a bucket of snowballs and you would throw them, take them out and throw them. And, uh, I just had a good idea for that, so I'll be showing you first an example of it, and then I'll show you the tools you'll need for it. This is an example. I just took some of this paper right here. I'm, I used some of this dark gray cardstock paper to cut out the handle and the bucket. And it's cardstock, just a reminder. And for the snowballs, I glued them on onto the back. So you'll have it this way so you don't see the back. And I used white cardstock paper, but my nene came in and said that I could have used this little hole puncher for the for these and then I told her that y'all all liked the realistic one like how they how the snowballs in, on the snowman looked realistic because of um me cutting them out by hand with these scissors and when you cut it out with this stamp thing right here this is what it looks like And so, I think I might be using this hole puncher right here because it looks like it's easier to use than just cutting them out. Because it really was, because I had to, like, I had to, like, um, cut them out and then shape them because it just didn't want to come out right. So, let's get started. I forgot to show you those holes too. <laughs> okay, here I'll be using art glitter glue, the stamp that you just do that with, this pencil, you take off the cap to use it, but. and then these sharp scissors from Tim Holtz. You can get them in either three store. Here is a knife that my nana just had in her desk. And you push it up like that to use it. Um, I had her permission to use it. If you're a kid watching this, you need to get some one of your parents' permission or your grandparents' permission to use it first. So let's get to it. So first, we will be making the bucket. So you're gonna take your scissors. Let me just move all this out of the way so I don't get hurt or anything. Okay, so I've got this right here. And I'm just cutting out the I'm just cutting out the um, bucket. And at first the corners are gonna look sharp, but um, at first the corners are gonna look sharp, but when we're done cutting out the bucket, I will go back to the corners and cut them round. And I'm sorry if I get really silent when I'm cutting stuff, it's just that's how I, process everything and um that's how I concentrate okay so now we're going to the handle so I'm just gonna cut straight for a second and then turn left everything's looking a little bit tall right now but that's fine with my other bucket that I was doing I kind of messed it up a little bit because when I was trying to shape one of the snowballs, 
I accidentally cut off the handle, like cut, cut the handle, so I had to um, glue the handle back together. And let me see here. If this is too tall when I'm done with the bucket, I'll trim it off. I'm going to go right here. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit sneezy in this. It's just my allergies have been coming up since it, the weather has been changing a lot. It's just become cold where we're at right now. Today's very, very cold. And so, yeah. Um, and I saw on the Snowflake video, there was a woman, she was like the second last one. And she asked how much snow we get here in Alabama. And, um, she asked... And she said that she gets a lot where she is. And I'll tell you right now that um, in Alabama, we don't get a lot of snow. We get just a, like a little bit, maybe like an inch sometimes. Sometimes, sorry, that was the trash can. Um, we probably get like an inch or sometimes we'll get like three inches maybe. We don't get a lot of snow here. Um, okay, so now I think I'm done shaping the corners. They're round now. Okay, so now I'm going to take this knife. Remember, if there's kids watching, get your parents or grandparents or aunt and uncle permission out. Um, you're kind of, you're going to kind of make the handle skinny, but at the same time a little bit fat. I don't really want to use fat, but I didn't know what else to use. I'm so also sorry if you keep seeing my hair in this too. I'm trying to measure. My nanny has a measure thing right here on her thing. Sorry about my nose. Um, okay, so I measured it. I'm gonna cut right here. Well, yeah. I have to hold this right here because it can go down sometimes. Okay, let's just... just a second I'm gonna get a tissue if you hear like a squeaking sound in the background that's just my um, sister and my nene watching gun smoke <laughs> in the living room Okay, so I cut, but I don't know if it's going to come out. I still have to cut a little bit better. So we had a, me and my sister had a choice either to stay over here with my nanny and papa while my dad went to church because my mom had to go on a singing trip. Well, not really a singing trip, but a um, singing here in Alabama. She's going to be there until like maybe one or two in the afternoon. And we either had a choice to come here at my name and Papa's or, or to 
go to church with my dad and sit through two services because my dad um, works on the cameras in the camera room at, at our church. Anyway, I'm finished making the bucket. And I'm very glad that it's short enough, like the bucket's short enough. It's kind of skinny right here and then it goes fat, but let's just, please just ignore that. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're done making that. What I'm gonna do now is I made five snowballs. So I'm going to cut out five snowballs. That kind of hurt. There you go. That one just went flying. <laughs> They're going flying. Just ignore that. <laughs> okay, I got four and one more. We'll do. All right. These right here. All right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue, and since I have one of these, if you want to get one of these, um, this is the Sugar Bell tip bottle tops, I think, and um, the needle is the. I'm trying to think. I will go get an example. Got that. Okay, here's an example. They're called, these tips are called Sweet Sugar Bell um, Icing Tips Caps. And the, the four piece. That's where you can get those, I believe. Yes. I think those are for bigger ones. But there's an example. And then right here is where you can get the needle and the cap to go in there and it is this you can get it at scrapbookingwithme.com anyway let me just you can also get this at scrapbookingwithme.com. I have to get all that dry glue out of there. Okay, I'm gonna add one of these. Just put a little dot. And then I just look to see if it looks okay. Which this draws clear so I don't have, have to worry about the glue just poking out right there. Alright. The other one. Oop. Just a second. Oop. I think I got my finger instead of the book it. And I also just have to say thank you everybody for the nice comments on the videos. And everybody who's been asking when I'm getting my own YouTube channel, it's going to be soon. Me and my dad, dad will have to figure it out. And I just put that on the front instead of the back. Got two snowballs in there so far. We might need a little bit more snowballs. Which, this is gonna look different than the other one because nothing's perfect. Got my third snowball. Also, again, sorry for the silence. 
I don't talk a lot when I'm trying to concentrate. I'll talk a little bit about me and my lifestyle. My favorite colors are probably going to be pink, purple, and turquoise. And maybe like a teal color. Um, and my favorite animal is a dog. And I'm done with that. I'm done making the bucket of snowballs. If you haven't, go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and leave a like down in the comments. Thank And thank you for watching. Bye!